All right, so uh, a few uh, months ago, I did a, a movie about the helter-skelter drill. And um, since then, I've decided that it's way more important than I made it seem like. You know, I was just at a field trial this weekend and I watched some of the top handlers move their dogs inches left and right and okay, and, and tell them, that's where I want you to look. And they looked out there. And you know, with today's tests that are so difficult, uh, you have to be able to get your dog looking and pointing and going in the right direction. The Helter Skelter drill is designed to do that. Um, you know, it all started with the seven bumper lining drill, which most of you are familiar with. And that began because a certain person was having trouble doing a blind. It just was had no confidence to look out and go there. And I put a couple of white, some white bumpers out and said, Try that, and it changed the comp, the whole idea for that dog. And once it started getting a little bit of confidence, then it could go. So the idea is to use bumpers in the drill that they can see. In other words, you wouldn't want to put an orange bumper that they couldn't see in it. It's to focus on something and then go there in spite of all the other hazards that are uh, presented. So I'm going to do this drill. Shadow's been, he says he remembers it, so we'll see how he does. And um, now this is going to be a more advanced version of it. And the thing we're going to do, instead of just focusing on something, I'm going to move him around. Focus on this, then focus on this, focus on this, focus on this, and go. So it's not just strictly focusing and go, it's moving him to various various spots and then changing it and eventually saying, okay, that's where I want you to go. The practical application would be in a test looking at various guns and then saying, okay, you've seen where the guns are. This is the one I want you to look at and this is the one you're gonna go to. So here we go. Shadow, you can come here. Here, sit. Sit. It's very important that the bumpers are visible. Otherwise, we're just testing instead of teaching. We want, to, we want the dogs to be able to actually see where they where they have to focus and go after you get them laid out then you go back and make sure they're visible this is the critical part, otherwise you're getting, gonna get frustrated. Um, this is the hard part. If you had shorter grass, it would be easier. Keep wanting to stress these bumpers have to be visible or they just it, it, it loses its value entirely now what you'll be watching is 
I'll be lining him on one, moving to another, then moving to another, and then picking one and, and getting it in past all the okay here we go Heel. so I'm gonna look here at this sit first white one right there good good heel it good here now I'm going to go right between these and get the long one way out there ready back okay so here's that's a perfect example what just happened this dog will go where he's lined he went right past everything because that's where he was lined. That's what you want, but it gives you a big responsibility. What is that responsibility? Getting him lined up right. If he's not lined up right, you can't blame him for not getting, ending up where you want him to. So that was a beautiful example. He was lined there, he went right past everything. So um, you better get yourself where you can actually here. Now I'm going to focus on this little short one right here. Ready? Good. Come here. Sit. Here. 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 Back. Good. Okay. Now you have the option of putting these back out or just picking them all up and throwing them behind you in a pile, but for the time being, I'm going to throw these out. Now I'm going to line back up on the one I just picked up. And then I'm going to do the little short one right here. And then I'm going to do the one between. Come up. Sit. Back. Good. Okay. Heel. Sit. Right here. Ready? Back. Sit. Come up. Easy now. Here. Back. Good. All right. Sit. Sit. Back. Good. All right. Heel. Sit. Come right here. Right here. Fetch. Good. <laughs> there you go. All right. Sit. If you have a two-sided dog, this is when you can practice the whatever you think is your weakest side. Do more of that. Here. Here. Sit. I'm going for the back. Good, okay. Hi you're talking. Excellent. Sit. And then you can create some distractions, like whenever you put bumpers out. That'll, that's a distraction. So now if I want to say here, sit right here, easy, back, good. <laughs> now you're talking, sit, sit, back, Okay, so that's the helter-skelter drill in a more advanced uh, station. And when you have a dog that you can do this with, you can say, you know, I got a dog that's a pretty good lining dog. And what what's the value is, then 
then when you're doing a test, you can know that you're going in the right direction. I've watched so many handlers think they're going the right direction and the dog is ends up going where it was lined and it's unfortunately the wrong spot. So this is something you can take and do a easy version of. In fact, let's do an easy version with another dog, a more beginning dog and see how that goes. Okay, so this is Judy in fairy tale and what I'm gonna do here First of all, I'm just gonna use big bumpers and I'm gonna make them much more obvious. And not quite as long. The idea is to get started so the dog understands what's, what's going on. Now, when you're first starting out, you can move your line a little bit. Well, you're trying to make it clear to the dog exactly what you're trying to do. So, to start with, come over here, Judy, and you, with, with her, okay. Now focus on this short one first okay. and pay attention to her al total alignment. It's not just yeah. where they're looking, it's where they're, okay. Now switch her all the way to the far left one and get that one. May move her body around so she's lined up right. Okay, get that one. Good. Okay, this is either the one of the first times that this puppy has tried this drill, so we're not trying to get absolute perfection. Okay, now focus on this short one again. Okay, now move up and try to get the long one between these two short ones. The, to the left of him. Over there, the one towards the tree. Okay. Move up, move forward. If you run into difficulty, just move forward. Don't, don't. See, initially a dog wants to look everywhere because just look at there's they're everywhere. I want to get them all. But the idea is to get the one that you want to get, and you have to be the one that decides that. What? Okay, I'm gonna throw this out where that one was. Put her on the right, yep. so you, you make sure you're practicing both sides. And so I'm gonna put this out here. Now she's focusing on that. Now you get the far left bumper. If you have any trouble, walk towards it so it's very clear what you're trying to do. See what your, your alignment has got to be. A lot Here. better. Here. Sit. Good. Good. Okay, now Sit. get the far right one. this over here. Now you get the long one in the, in the middle between these two short ones. Okay. Here. Sit. Here. Here. Sit. If 
If you have any doubts, move forward. Buck? Good. Good. <laughs> okay, now see if you can get the long one between these two short ones. But no, no. <laughs> okay, take take it from her and put it back. Put it back where it was. Move a little. Yeah. Make it clear what you want. Good. Good. <laughs> She's hurting my bumpers. Okay, settle her down. Slow way down. Okay, so that's a good example of a dog that is just beginning this and doing very well, but that's more of a be beginning version. It's not as snug as some of the other bumpers, so great. That was real good. Thank you. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go.